Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the configuration of Odoo with VS Code today. You haven't installed it yet. Just install it. And then what you have to do, you have to open the folder. See, whenever you install Odoo in your PC, in your laptop, it will create a new folder. It will create a folder of its own name. It will ask you for a path. So whatever path you have given, just open that path, open that folder. Like I have saved that in my C drive, documents. And in documents, I have saved it with the name new folder. You can save it with Udo 16 as it is 16th version of Udo. So I have saved it with the name new folder. You have to open the server part in Udo 16. See, there are some files whenever you will save it some files will be some folders and some new folders will be create already created uh, by default and uh, like nssm python server sessions third party vc redis so all this will be installed already by default so what you have to do you have to open server part server folder see i have opened server folder now it is looking like this now in this explorer part, what you have to do, you have to open the add-ons part in Odoo. Just click Odoo here. Here you will get add-ons. See there are two add-ons. One is here and second is here. You have to click the second one, which is in inside the Odoo. Click this. Okay. Open any of the thing like I have, I'll be opening this PyCache or account check printing whatever you want okay so this this is demo basically this is what this is demo and i'll be opening this pycache in it python any python file you can open i'll be opening this one open any way just wait here it is i'll be opening this this one for example this example file you can open this example file any of them so it's on you it's on you whatever python file you want you can open it okay just uh, try to open any of the like i am i am opening this model part let's do it okay accounts underscore move dot py any uh, uh, python file i'll open just to run it just to run it now what you have to do you have to add configuration that's the main part you have to add configuration so click on this run part now add configuration here some already done configuration will be there by those by by like uh, vs code and by udo this will be by default the version 0.2.0 configuration is just written here but what you have to do, I'll be sharing a text with you. You have to copy that in this part. And then your VS code will be configured with Odoo directly. Just follow my steps. First of all, remove this one. With my written text. And it is here. This is our text. What you have to do just copy it and paste it into this launch.json part see whenever you will click run add can configuration a launch.json part will be loaded here in the explorer part and you will having this page opened just paste it here now in this part python in this part you have to add your path where Odoo, path of python in your Odoo project see path of path of python in your local machine where Odoo has installed now it's installed in my c drive users pande one drive documents as the name new folder as i already saved it with the name new folder you can save it with any name so just insert that name here do one thing don't change this thing these things don't change it 
this one you don't have to change this part just add your path before this part okay this slash slash python slash slash python dot exe you don't have to touch it you don't have to change it okay whenever if you will change it your python part will not be loaded okay what is the next thing here debug options here a yellow lining will be showing you also but you don't have to worry with that you just have to move on to the next part which is open this odoo.conf odoo.conf configuration part open it and just comment this log file it will be i have already commented it but uh, whenever you will open it it will be like this you have to just search for the log file part here on the 37th line it is you have to comment it it may be on some other line in your pc in your laptop but in my pc it is on 37th line i'll be commenting it like this comment it and run your that python program which i already opened so i have to run that it was on like udo add on here account dot move dot py now i will be running this without debugging so run it without debugging okay it is running it is running okay yeah you can see udo dot service dot server it is running http service running on ashwini 8069 what is this 8069 8069 is my local host uh, number okay let me show you that see this is my port number see 8069 what happens most of the time yeah it is running on my pc uh, and whenever i'll uh, open it like local host 8069 so i'll have one uh, my website opened as i've already worked with it so it will be showing uh, some home screen and like this you will be asked to uh, your login or signing page you will be asked to sign up just sign up and then this thing will be opened this thing will be opened i have see let me show you see yeah, i've already logged in you have to log in from here sign in here sign in thing will appear you have to sign in from here you have to enter your password no need to worry you just enter your password id now click on this my account or apps you can click and this this folder this this page web page will be appear now uh, in the in the past versions of odoo uh, 14 or 15 there were like install install but now it is activate what you have to do activate and the what the most basic thing the most important thing in this is sales part and uh, whenever you will click the sales part let me show you some dummy data whenever you will click the sales part okay learn more see you can some explore it with uh, working on this you have some categories you have you have this one sales part i have opened now see, see from this this part from here you can open sales and your dummy sales data will be opened here dummy sales data now you can make changes in it you can edit it if i am clicking any of them see what will be opened my whole uh, thing my whole uh, like uh, order quotation sheet is opened here okay i can make changes so this is odoo this is how we configure it with vs code right but most of the times what happen whenever there is much more load on the http port so you have to change this http port sometimes and if it is not happening then it is well and good but if it is happening then do one thing open it with incognito mode whenever you will go for incognito mode it won't disturb you a lot it won't uh, make problems to you and it will simply get open sometimes 
what happens uh, error occurs whenever we give wrong path like what i already said you don't have to change this just remember make sure that your path is correctly given assigned to this this launch.json part and this python part because this python will be loaded and this is very sensitive thing as Udo is totally written in python so just take care of it and this this pause stop thing will appear i hope it helped you much this video helped you much to configure your Udo with vs code okay so here i am ending this video we will look further in the next videos thank you